Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to teach you how to get mods, including I, I Stupid. I am going to be teaching you how to get mods on a PC, the Oculus version, um, because I do not know how to do the Steam VR, and I know a lot of people, or some people, could be like me. Everybody teaches it the Steam way, but not enough the Oculus way. So I'll be here to help you. I'll try to go as easy as I can, as slow as I can, and make it as easy as possible. Because when I got my mods and followed the tutorials, some were actually good, but like it was a little bit tricky. So I'm going to be teaching you how to get II Stupid and the Utila from Eagle Mods. Let's get right into it. Once you're on your PC, we need to talk about the requirements that your PC needs to have. So I'm going to open up my MetaQuest link. I have no idea why, but it says... Your computer doesn't mean the update blah, 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 when it does, but we're just going to click learn more and it's going to tell you the parts that you need to have. So it says recommended specs, minimum specs. So we're just going to just take a look at this, pause the video if you need, but this is what your computer needs to look like to hold all these mods. Once you pause the video and made sure your PC can handle all of that stuff or is equivalent or even more, we are going to go into your Google account. You're going to get a new tab and you're going to search up Oculus app. You're going to click the one that says download Oculus app MetaQuest. So you're going to click that and then it should pop in as Oculus setup. So you're just going to hit save. Once you saved it, you're going to go down into your files and you are going to go into your downloads and you're going to click Oculus Setup. You do want this to make changes to your device, so click yes. And then it should do this meta logo. And I already have this installed. Looks like you've already installed Link. So get a parent if you need help to set up the Facebook account and your Meta Quest account onto here. Once you're done with that, it should pop up as MetaQuest link and then you double click on it and this is where it should bring you to. This is, you can get games here, I can go to library. Um, for some reason, Gorilla Tag doesn't show up in my library anymore, but I can search up Gorilla Tag and it's right here and it says installed. So this is where Gorilla Tag is going to be. Once you've done that, you're gonna go back into your Google and you're going to search up monkey mod manager and you want to click the github only click the github don't cl click all of these because these could be viruses so click this first one that says releases deadly kitten and monkey mod manager I'm gonna click this one and then it should say the seventh release of the monkey mod manager and it should say latest you're gonna scroll down here Click monkeymodmanager.exe and hit save in your downloads. Once you've done that, you're going to go to your file explorer. You're going to go to downloads and you're going to click on monkey mod manager. Sometimes it will, will say, we couldn't seem to find your gorilla tag installation. Please press OK and point us to it. You're going to hit OK. And it already brings me to where I need to be, which is gorilla tag right here but I will show you what you need to do. So you're in your downloads, you need to click, you need to scroll down and click local disk. You need to go to program files, and then you need to scroll down till you see Oculus, double click that, go to software, software again, another Axiom Gorilla tag, and you just double click Gorilla tag. And it should bring you into Monkey Mod Manager. Now, let's make sure you understand what Monkey Mod Manager is basically monkey mod manager is where you manage all of your mods be because it says monkey mod manager so basically you just manage all of your mods in here you can pick what mods you want right here but i wouldn't recommend it recommend it my bad but you can go to utilities too and the bep and x folder is where you do most of your mods but you should you should be in plugins once you're in plugins the bep and x should be checkmarked once you have that check mark, you're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to see Utila, TMP Loader, New Newton Soft, Justin, X Inject, and Bep Inject. 
you're gonna click all of these Tilla, TMP loader, whatever this is, Newton, X inject, FEP inject, and then you're gonna hit install slash update. Now, if you go to utilities and you go into your Bepinex folder, move you, okay, I can just close out of him. You should see plugins, and this is where you're going to put your mods. See, I already have some mods in here, but I will teach you, like I said in the intro, how to get mods. So let's do the II stupid. So once you, you did all of that, you can just click literally out of everything. And then you're still in your Google Chrome. You're going to click New Tab, and you're going to click IIDK. Just that, IIDK, Enter. And you want to go to IIDK, the actual GitHub. Any other place is a virus. Trust me, I've already done this, and this isn't virus. If it's paid, it's a virus. But this is the actual, so you won't get a virus. So you're going to click on this. And then we're going to scroll down. And you can see II Stupid Menu right here. So we're going to click on II Stupid Menu. And then we're going to go to the latest one, 5.3.1. And he actually released a new one. The other one I saw was a 5.3.0, oh, but here's a new one. So it should say latest. It says all the things he fixed and added and the things he removed. So now we're going to scroll down and we're going to click iistupidmenu.dll. You're going to click save in your downloads and it should be downloaded right here. Now you're going to go back into your files. You're going to go to downloads, monkey mon manager, hit OK, and it should already bring you to Gorilla Tag. So you're going to click, double click that. And then you're going to go to utilities, go to Bepinex folder. Click out of Monkey Mon Manager, go to Plugins, and then you're just going to keep this right here. And what I do is I just bring this over a little bit, like this. And that is so I can see my other tab. And then I'm going to drag this II Stupid into my plugins. And then I am going to replace the file just because this is a new one. It won't say replace the file because you don't have any in there. It will just go right in. So I'm going to click replace the file and there it goes it's in there and that's how to get illegal mods but if you want legal mods like great DOL then you need utila so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna click out of this and you are going to stay in a tab and you're going to stay in IIDK the actual what you're going to do is you're just gonna click back on the arrow click back again and you want to go to mod info and then all of this is in alphabetical order so you're just going to scroll down and then once you get to shiba gt and the shiba dark you're going to scroll down until you see tic-tac-toe and there should be utilities right here you're going to click utility dll not utility master zip utility dll you're going to click view raw and then you're going to save it once you save that you're going to go back into your files. From right here, it should say plugins. So normally I'd click on that, but if it doesn't say plugins, you're just going to go to your downloads. And you're going to go to Monkey Mod Manager again. It does that. And you go to Gorilla Tag. Go to Utilities. Weapon X folder. Close out of this. And then you're going to go into plugins. And you should see a util folder. You're going to go to the util folder. You're just going to drag it and place it into this folder. And then you got utila.dll. And there you go. That's how you get mods, legal or illegal. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped a lot. If you, if I w went too fast, you can just pause the video. I checked all this stuff out. This is not a virus. If you go to IDK, IIDK, the actual, it's not a virus. So IIDK is the one to trust. I hope you like this video. Um, I try to make this as simple as I can and as easy as I can, because when I followed mod videos, they weren't that easy. So I'm here to make sure it's easy as it can and just make an impact. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and ding that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Cozy out. Da -da -da!